WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. Here's a reminder for drivers in Hendricks County, INDOT is reducing the speed limit on US 136, this between Pittsburgh and Brownsburg. The new speed limit will be 45 miles per hour. The change will take effect today. INDOT officials say the change is to improve safety in that area. Indiana's Attorney General says so far this year his team has returned more than $69 million in unclaimed money to you. That's a record amount. But Todd Rokita, the Attorney General, says there's still more than $800 million waiting to be claimed. Unclaimed property is any financial asset turned over to the state. Now to check to see if you have any unclaimed money with the state, head on over to Indiana Unclaim. Gov. Today, we'll learn more about the safety plans for the, this Friday's big event in downtown Indianapolis. We're talking about, of course, the Circle of Lights Sun Monument Circle. Today, city leaders will roll out crowd management plans and safety protocols for that event. Festivities, by the way, leading up to the big event are set to start an hour earlier this year at 6 p.m. on Friday. The lights will stay lit on the circle all the way through January the 13th. Todd. All right, temperatures here today, Raphael. Pretty seasonable. We'll be up right around 50 degrees in most locations. Not a lot of sunshine though today. Mostly cloudy skies, and there could be a hit or miss shower really at any point throughout the day today. And that would be very light. Now, this evening, as we get closer to midnight and then overnight, a storm system brings some heavy rain to the area uh, with the potential for some wind as well. And this heavy rain will linger into your morning commute tomorrow before it tapers off to scattered showers off and on throughout uh, the remainder of the day Tuesday. And this is going to be the best soaking rain we've seen in a while. I have to go all the way back to the end of September since we've seen over an inch of rainfall. And that's what most of us will see here late tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, Todd, thanks for that. For the latest on weather and stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.